Hey guys, welcome to the channel Scuba Travel and Adventure. Thomas again here with another video and another bike alarm. It's a little bit different and uh, basically this one doesn't lock your wheels like the other one does, but it's uh, pretty loud and it's pretty sensitive. So that, that's an Amazon purchase. I purchased this from Amazon. It's about 25 bucks, uh, nothing really expensive, but uh, it has uh, seven different levels of sensitivity that you can adjust and a couple different volumes that you can change on the fly uh, to adjust it uh, to, to the way you like it. So basically it's packaged like this and inside here you got your alarm and you got the key fob. Uh, similar like you would get it on a car. I will show you how that works. Just let me move the camera over. We'll take it out of the package and I'll show you the contents. So basically you got your alarm, you got your key fob, a screwdriver if you ever need to change the battery, that also comes in the package, a couple zip ties, and this tool to open the unit or the keychain to change the battery in the future. So it's pretty simple in operation, lock button and unlock button. So basically once you arm it, it's armed and it's really sensitive at this point. That's just a warning. And disarm. So there's a couple different modes on, uh, on this unit. So I will mount it right now and I'll play with this a little bit more. So I was thinking to mount it somewhere here and there's two different mounting options. There is one with the Velcro tape and the other one you can put the zip ties through and attach it to the bike that way. Um, I think I will use the zip ties as it's much easier in the future to change the batteries or do anything else with that. It would be a good idea to mount it even like this. I found a better spot. Uh, basically, I will install it uh, right in here. Uh, that's just the perfect location for it and it doesn't interfere with anything. I already checked it So we should be okay at this point here Oh yeah, it fits perfectly, so I can cut the tie wraps here. Okay, let's reinstall the seat. Awesome. And the installation process is complete. Now let's play with it a little bit. So the instruction actually give you all the information that you need. Uh, so we have an instruction on this, uh, which is a bonus. Uh, it tells you how to arm it, how to disarm it, uh, how to uh, set the level of sensitivity and SOS setting feature. Um, what else? Uh, bell and uh, surge function. So you can pair a different remote, I guess, to that. Battery change uh, description, how to change the battery on this. So it's got uh, pretty much everything that you need. And we'll first thing what we'll do, we'll test this alarm. So we'll arm it. We'll wait a couple seconds. Okay, it is armed. Now let's see if, uh, how well it works. I guess we gotta change the sensitivity to a little bit more. It has seven levels, so. So to change the sensitivity, you press the lock button and hold it. To 
to adjust the volume, you press the bell button. As you see, as soon as you touch the bike, uh, the alarm gives you a warning first and when it's uh, more motion or detection of movement it will uh, sound the alarm itself. So now with the little um, thunder icon you can change uh, different type of rings. That's one, two, three. I like that one, that's pretty loud. Wait for it to arm. Okay, it is armed. Now let's move it. Okay, that's a warning. And it goes off. That uh, will give you a little bit of sense of additional security when you're leaving the bike for a short period of time. Of course, it's uh, not gonna stop anybody from uh, stealing it. Um, that's why I like my other alarm when I will leave the bike uh, somewhere at the hotel or anywhere, even on a campsite, uh, I will lock my front disc and it will also sound the alarm. Uh, but um, I made a video on that one before. So this is just an additional thing that I decided, okay, it's much quicker than installing the other way. Sometimes you just need to run to the store close by to the bike uh, and uh, that will do the job for it to arm it and uh, have an additional peace of mind when you're leaving the bike. That's it for this video. It was very short and very simple. It's just a matter of finding your best location where you want to install that uh, alarm. Um, I was thinking before to put it somewhere in the console, but uh, there's too many lines and too much everything. There, it, it is possible, but I just don't trust those adhesive uh, mounting. I rather use the zip ties if there's an option and uh, it's out of sight. Uh, you know it, I know it that it's there, but if somebody's gonna approach the bike, nobody will uh, realize that the bike has an alarm. So that's it for this video. As always, uh, if you like the content, uh, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, and hit the like button, help that YouTube algorithm to push the video content through. And until next video, cheers.